Welcome back guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add your SAE, um, your project into your record book. So if you've already started on your SAE, that's amazing, but AET will not allow you to make any kind of entries. Um, so no journal entries, financial inputs, any of that important data into your record book until you've officially added it as an SAE. So to do that, we're going to find your project slash experience manager. So you can find this cool little guy on almost all of the pages in AET. So this is our main dashboard and it's going to appear right up here in the corner. Um, it's also in a section in your profile, your journal, and the finances tab. So that shows you how important this project manager is that you can access it from almost anywhere in your record book. So we're going to click project slash, slash experience manager. Right now, AET is saying we don't have any current projects that we're working on. So to add a project, we're going to click add new. Then we're going to input the basic information for our SAE. So first thing we're going to do is put a project name in the box. Um, please name your project something that very briefly um, but accurately describes your project. So think of if you were trying to uh, tell somebody that you have a project. If all you say is, I have an SAE, they're going to be really confused and have no idea what you're talking about. But let's say you are going to show a market hog at your county fair this year. You could name it Market Hog 2020 or something along those lines. Um, if you have a placement SAE or an internship SAE, uh, the project name could be where you're employed at. So let's say you work at Tractor Supply. You could write Tractor Supply. You could write Tractor Supply Internship or Employment or Job or something along those lines. Um, it could be the name of an individual if you work for a name of an individual, but regardless, um, enter some kind of a short descriptive name for your experience so that when people just glance at the name, they can kind of sort of guess what your SAE might be. All right, next we're going to add the level or the focus of your SAE. So this is a little bit different. Um, from what SAE for All shows. SAE for All has school-based and service learning as types, not as a level or a focus, but that's okay. So if you have um, a foundational, right, that's probably going to be an individual. Same with research um, and entrepreneurship. Those should all be individual level kind of things. Um, if you have a job, so let's say you're working for the school at the school farm or, or running a booth at the school's farmer's market, something like that, that might be school-based, right? Um, service learning could be entrepreneurship, right? Or it could be placement, either paid or unpaid if you're doing some kind of community service thing. Um, so double check. What's really cool about AET is all over, there's these little green help bubbles. So if you're not sure what something is, hover over that and AET is going to give you a quick little blurb um, about each of the options to help you choose. All right, so let's enter, say, an SAE called Costas Landscaping, right? So let's say I own my own landscaping business, aka I bought a lawnmower and I go around and mow people's lawns and pull weeds and trim hedges and all that jazz. So I'm going to click cost is landscaping. That's individual based. Um, it's my own business. So I'm going to click entrepreneurship slash ownership. So for the primary experience in category, you're going to select the category that best fits your SAE. If you're not sure what each of these things are, you can click right in here. The explore AFNR or agriculture, food and natural resources things. Um, and it will give you some kind of a kind of overview of each of these each of these pathways, each of these standards. So if you're not sure what agribusiness is, you can click on that. 
And this will give you some general learning standards, um, skills and learning objectives that are involved with agribusiness SAEs. So if a lot of this sounds like what you are doing, this could be what you select, right? Um, if you are raising livestock, if you're doing any kind of animals, small animal projects, check out animal systems. Uh, if you are doing something that's technical systems, plant systems has its own option. So click through these, scroll through them, and find what fits your project. So for my project, or my example project, um, I'm going to say that it is plant systems as my primary category. Then it's going to ask for your subcategory. So for the subcategory, we're getting, we're we're narrowing it down to what specifically you're doing. So in plant systems, you can see we have a bunch of different options. So if I was raising grain crops, oil crops, uh, veggies, if I was working in a nursery, any of that. So for our example SAE, I'm gonna click on landscaping. So for category unit, um, this might have something. So for example, let me go back to grain crops. Let's say I'm going to measure the success of my SAE through acres of production. Um, maybe I just want to measure how many hundredweights I sold. Maybe I want to measure how many bushels, right? Maybe it's something totally different. But this category slash unit is going to be how you are measuring or how you are producing your product. So let's say this was an animal systems SAE. Right, so let's say I was raising that hog for the county fair. So my primary experience is animal systems. My subcategory would be swine. And then for animals, it's gonna ask you exactly what kind of type. So are you doing commercial breeding? Um, is, this, is this a strictly market project? Is this an actual show pig? Are you taking it to, to different, to very jackpots, um, you're beefing it up for fair, all that stuff. Maybe is it registered? So for all of these options, the primary experience, subcategory, and the category slash unit, select what best fits your actual SAE. Sometimes you'll have an option for this module, uh, management module. If you have animals, this is really important. In a later video, I'm going to show you how to use the livestock manager. But let's say you were showing your pig at jackpots, and then you're going to sell it at the county fair. I would select market manager. Let's say this is a breeding project. So I'm going to breed my pigs, and I'm going to sell the offspring um, as market hogs. This could be breeding herd manager. So again, select what best fits you. So for my example, I'm going to go back to plant systems landscaping, and I'm going to leave these things blank. Then we're going to click save. Ta-da! Now your SAE is officially added to your record book. So now you can make entries. If this shows up as pink or red and there's all kinds of X's and caution things, don't freak out. That's okay. That just means you don't have any entries yet, which totally makes sense because we just inputted this like five seconds ago. So like I said, now your SAE is ready for some entries.